That's right, Matt. And I spoke with the owner here at Kitchen Table, and she tells me that when she first reopened during the pandemic, she only allowed customers in by appointment. And she hopes that this news of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron being here in California doesn't mean she has to go back to those restrictions. In this East Sacramento brick and mortar, COVID-19 protocols are a part of everyday life. From hand sanitizer to keeping the doors open for ventilation are just some of the measures they are taking. Even with the new variant um, and hearing all the news about that, you know, I'm not too concerned just because we do um, still require masks. We've always required masks and my staff is vaccinated and I'm vaccinated. And that preparation has the owner of Kitchen Table, Susan O'Brien, ready for the possibility of the Omicron variant forcing customers to stay home and stiffer restrictions from the state. If we do have to, then we've been there before. So, I mean, we'll, we'll do whatever is best for everyone's safety. Um, I'm hoping we won't have to uh, because it's just so much better when people can come in and see the products and interact with us. The unavoidable happened Wednesday, says Dr. Brad Pollack, Associate Dean for Public Health Sciences at UC Davis, as news broke that the first case of the Omicron variant was detected in California. We, we don't know yet how fast it's going to spread. Um, we have uh, some clues that it is probably as transmissible as the Delta variant was. Um, it may be a little bit more so. Dr. Pollock says we also don't know what level of impact the Omicron variant will have in terms of the vaccine and effectiveness, but it will be determined by if there is an increase in the number of people that are being hospitalized, even possibly dying. Both Pfizer and Moderna now are working on formulations of a booster dose that would actually be programmed for this specific variant, uh, as well as the Delta variant. Dr. Pollock says that there's still a large pool of people who are not vaccinated, which allows the virus to mutate. He says the best way to stay safe from this variant is to get the COVID-19 vaccine and get that booster.